what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful olympia question we have on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of a for which 5 to the a times 5 to the a times 5 to the a is equal to 10. well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices which says that whenever i have a base let's say x raised to the power of n times the same base x raised to a power of m this time around the law of indices says since the base are the same take one of the base and add the powers n plus m it doesn't matter the numbers of base for example in our question we have three bases so since the bases are the same and they are multiplying just as this times here law of indices says take one of the base which is five and add the powers now look at the power a plus a plus a so i'm going to be adding a plus a plus a does it equal to 10. now this result becomes 5 a plus a plus a gives 3a equal to 10. very good our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides so i'm going to be taking the log of the left hand side so log 5 to the power of 3a equal to log 10. now since i have log i'm going to be applying the law of logarithm here which says that whenever i have a log of a number let's say a raised to a power n the law of logarithm says we can take the power n and multiply it with the log of a log a so let's apply this law of logarithm here i'll take the power 3a and use that to multiply log 5 times log 5 does it equal to log 10. now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 5. so i'll divide the left hand side by log 5 I'll also divide the right hand side by log 5. Now notice that log 5 can cancel off log 5. Now I have 3a to be equal to log 10 divide by log 5. This log 10 can be split into 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. So let's go ahead and split this log 10. So we have 3a to be equal to log. Instead of writing 10, I'm going to be writing 5 times 2. Because 5 times 2 will also give me 10. All over log 5. You see that? Very good. Now I'm going to be applying another law of logarithm here. Which says that whenever I have, for example, log a times b just as i have here this law of logarithm says that whenever i have this expression this can be separated into log a as long as i have times here here becomes plus log b so let's go ahead and apply this law of logarithm to what we have here in the next slide so we have 3a equal to now let's separate this expression using this law of logarithm so we have log 5 plus log 2 all over log 5 now we can go ahead and split this fraction and how do we do that we write 3a to be equal to log 5 all over the log 5 at the bottom here plus log 2 all over log 5 which is the denominator as well now notice that log 5 divided by log 5 i'm going to be having 1 so i have 3a to be equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by log 5 
Now, I need to simplify this expression. And I'm going to be applying the law of logarithm as well, which is the one involving the change of base. Whenever I have, for example, log A base B, this expression is same as log A all over log B. That means whenever I have log A all over log B, it can also be written like this, log A base B. So let's express this in terms of this. So I have 3a to be equal to 1 plus. Now applying the change of base, we're going to be having log 2 base 5. Do you see that? Very good. So now let's get our value of a. Now to get the value of a, I'm going to be dividing both sides by 3. So I'll divide the left hand side by 3. I'll also divide the right hand side by 3. Now 3 divides 3, I have a to be equal to 1 plus log 2 base 5 divide by log 3. Very good. But we're not going to be stopping here. We're going to be checking if this is the correct answer for a. Although we can say this is the answer, but let's check if this is the correct answer for a so let's write check here check now to check we have five this is five we're going to check whether we're going to be having 10 as the result so we have 5a what is the value for our a we have one plus log two base five divide by three so that's it times five we have a a is one plus log 2 base 5 divide by 3 now times again the last one is 5 to the power of 1 plus log 2 base 5 divide by 3 now remember from the law of logarithm indices rather i can take one of the base since they are equal and they are multiplying so i can take one of the base 5 and add the powers when i add the powers this this and these are the same and when i add them i'm going to be having three of the same thing which is one plus log two base five all over three you see that cool now notice that the three here can divide the three here now leaving behind five to the power of one plus log two base 5. Now there is something I want to do here. I can go ahead and also bring out the law of logarithm which says that whenever I have a base for example a to the m times the same base a to the n this can become a since the base are the same and add the powers m plus n which means if I have a base and the powers are adding up i can go ahead and split it like this that means this expression can be written as 5 to the power of 1 you see that and since i have plus here as in what i have here then i can be then we can go ahead and write times now the same base a which is the base here 5 now the second power is log 2 base 5 so 5 to the power of 1 is 5 times now there is a law of logarithm which says that whenever i have a log of a number let's say a you see that base b and this is not just a log but it is an exponent to a base b as long as what i have here and what i have here are the same they can go off leaving behind a do you see that so that means if i have a log of a base which is the same as the base and this is an exponent the result will be the number so it means that since i have a base of five and the exponent is a log of base five it shows that the two the number can be taken or 
is going to be the output. So 2. So 5 times 2, that's 10. So the result we got for a to be equal to 1 plus log 2 base 5 all over 3 is correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.